Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had just gotten done finding out from, uh, well, not sure who, actually, forget who we found out from, um... Ha! Woodman, the uh, scummy, very, very scummy uh, caretaker, for lack of a better phrase, at um, Clouds that Evelyn got sold off by him himself, actually, now I think about it, to a Ripper Doc named Fingers is a very odd name and the, the information from Okada-san very valuable I also learned something through my own efforts we must meet where will it be this time trash processing plant deserted end cart station in the south of Japan town there is a street market it is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Okay. Down on the street. Okay. All right. I guess that's what we do with uh, Takamura next. But uh, first, we gotta finish this thing with uh, finish this thing with Judy uh, in dealing with this uh, this a guy named Fingers, uh, Bozar, or no, that was Buzzar. I'm unable to read. I apologize. <laughs> <sighs> Bizarre Kamzaki Street, Japantown. You cannot miss it. Bazaar is on the upper level, quite high, so it is worth using the public elevator. I think there are two. Uh, um, I can't... <laughs> I can't read everything that this one is, but I'm kind of tempted to use that. The fox sneaks into the chicken coop with its own tail between its teeth. More code? V, do not be a fool. This is a serious matter. Will you come? Come on! I see parables are beyond some people's intellectual capacities. Let us drop the subject. Come on! That was funny. Okay, well... Might as well keep the bike over there, and... Here we are. Hello. Oh my, this place has a wicked vibe. So this more up your alley than clouds. Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. I mean, you're not wrong. Not entirely, anyway. Hmm. And he's gone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you kind of know more or less what you're getting over here. Okay. Well, let's not be part of that. Here, kitty kitty. What's the rush? Ah, uh, excuse me. Calm it down. All right. Guess we gotta head down over to. Hmm. Hmm. 
see you next time. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's probably going to be a problem. Mitzi Sparks. Okay. Hmm. Well, these guys will probably not let me through unless I get a little rough with them. But let's. Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Huh. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's go with the street kid uh, background and uh, use Lock it here. Got a message for fingers. Comes from the tiger claws. And that message would be? Two things. Urgent and confidential. Meaning? Meaning you got a choice. Oh, yeah? You either get your shit kicked in for being slow or for being a nosy prick. Fine. Let him through, sludge. There we go. Thank y'all, gentlemen. Fingers MD. Ooh. Hey, hands off her. Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mox in town descends on the shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court. Fuck off and leave me be. Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me. And you can fuck off the greener pastures. Okay. And okay. <laughs> I don't owe you shit. <laughs> oh, but you do. And that shit has a name. Something around twenty thou. What? Come on, you pulled that number out of your ass. Hey, what's that tone with me, you skank? Hey, look in the mirror. Who paid for all that? Think Fingers would have fixed a crack face plate for free? You want out? You gotta pay me back. Jesus. Feel bad for her. V, hey. Hey, Judy. Hello! There's a line! Mm -hmm. Nuh uh, you ain't cutting. Sit Fingers your ass guy. down and wait you your know? turn. Heard some things, yeah. Like? His hand sometimes slips. Is that why he's called Fingers? Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn hold up with the mocks for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell did she go back to Clouds? <laughs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. Mocks don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs. No, why? Her joy toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in. Yeah, well... Can't solve all the world's problems at once. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front. Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? Well, I mean, Only everything you knew where so she far. was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. I think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere. On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. Doesn't surprise me. Okay, well. That's not who I was intending on talking to.
Let me talk to them. Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here? Helps me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. He, is. he chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Better than being a cripple. I do have a lot of options here, but I think I'm going to go with this one. My friend here, she's in real sorry shape. You couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Uh, uh. Of course. Honey, be my guest. Well, now, hold on. Hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try to open those luscious lips of yours. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. Okay. How about now? Is that a... Wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. Faceplate's previous owner had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Don't worry. Your eyes I think he's done. Adjust. We going in? Eventually. Jesus. Eyes will adjust event. What the? Yes, hello. What can I do for you? Uh, looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Yeah. I know she was here in your clinic. Ah, so that's what this is about. Mm -hmm. Where is she? Ah, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You tiger claws? As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mark. Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? These girls know you're chipping faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> Jesus. You're a sick fuck. Know that? Absolutely. You looking for a friend? <laughs> the fact you phrase it something like wrong. that. Who do you help the working girls around here? Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please. Scrapyards offer better quality than this. Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. Mm-hmm. Of course. I can't speak or what? Went jittery as soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. Forrest. Name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? Woodman and I, we had a talk. Told me he brought her here to you. Said you paid him for her. What good was she to you? <laughs> you must have misheard. First of all, I didn't pay in any for her. He paid me to take her in. Second, I never laid eyes on those eddies in the end because I couldn't rejig her implant. So he left her with me as payment for my efforts. Uh, I can't fucking listen to this. We are talking about a 
living, breathing person. You're right. Half alive, technically. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. You mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. You're scum. Pathetic. A waste of words. I'm a hair away from putting you down. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. Want details, damn it. Name the studio. They mentioned a moth, of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. Some people might think that was unnecessarily aggro. Personally, the way that he talked about Evelyn and the way that he seemed to want to drag this out as much as possible was really pissing me off. So, we got a little persuasive. Call it aggressive negotiations. Anyway, at least now we know where she is. And that takes care of that, pretty much. Noramaki, huh? Well, I'll take that at the very least. I can sell it later. Uh, drip coffee maker, huh? Small... Small little thing to be able to do that. Chemicals, the invisible killer. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. We've long known that the AVs crisscrossing our skies are busy dumping harmful substances in the air, such as aluminum, carbon dioxide, sulfur, trioxide, and sulfuric acid. Okay, so we're going into the chemtrails shenanigans. Okay, fine. All right. Gear my brain up for that. All right. Studies have also revealed the presence of dead red blood cells and E. coli, as well as sodium chloride. Huh. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't finish it. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Y'all have fun. You might have to wait a little while, though. We kind of. Knocked him silly. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. You want to give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? 
We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's Head symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, Market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. Mm -hmm. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Mm -hmm. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. It's gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh. Have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Mm -hmm. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. There's an idea. Let me think for a sec. Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. Same. I'll wait in the van. Locate terminal and find the pleasures of NC domain. Okay. Well. Punks are gone. Hey, yo, man, you're trying to rip us off? I got four bags missing here. That's the cut I got off Pablo. Don't like it? Take it up with him. Okay. I ain't dealing with Pablo. I'm dealing with you. That means you and me got a problem. Now, I could paint the sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't get me what I'm owed. Oh, you want to try? Go on, son. Oh. Okay. Well. All right. Okay. Well. Fair enough. That went how it would went. Okay. There's the terminal. Run over the net. Pleasures of Night City. Why am I not surprised that it's already here? Um... Underground twin. Interesting. All the pleasures and delights Night City has to offer in a single place. Now, isn't that convenient? You'll find every pleasure and entertainment you can think of from the seventh circle of hell to the pillow soft meadows of heavenly bliss. Right. Okay. Alright, um... Brain dances? Hmm. Purveyors of brain dance are like ramen shops. You don't have to look for... You don't have to look far to find them. Why do they have to have these texts so small? I can't read them. Come on. Jesus. There are too many to include, so we've got curated the best selection for you right here at PNC. A special shout out to Lizzie's Bar, the club with the highest quality erotic scrolls in the city. The virtues are polished to perfection, fresh in content, and always keep you coming back for more. Huh. Interesting. Pretty sure I'm looking for something. Jig Street, Brain Dances, Nightlife, Dicky Twister, okay. Logging in, maybe? Ah, oh, 
gains access to encrypted data. That would explain what I had to do. Okay. Well. Cool. And that did it. Alright. Gain access. Alrighty. And we go to brain dances and it's an entirely different thing. Okay. Bodies in space. Inquisitor simulator. No anesthesia. Death's head moth volume 49. That's probably the one we're looking for. Death's head moth netrunner. What lies behind the black wall? He's seen it for himself. Gore, snuff, bondage, fear, extreme sensations, real brain death. Contact Lenny N. Okay, gotta find the dealer who's on Jig Jig Street, which is apparently Coming over here. Trash. Excuse me. Get out of my way. Not that hard. Alright. Alrighty. Now we gotta go down to storage, maybe? Or Poplar Street. I don't know. We'll go down to storage first. Ah, that's exactly where we needed to go. Looking for something raw, untouched. Raw's all you get with me. What's your edge? Want something that'll floor me. Really scramble the neurons. We've got it all, man. Bare knuckle boxing, shootouts, black ops interrogations, amputations. No, 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 no. I mean something like, well, you know. Fetishes. No, come on. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Think I'd be doing this job if I could read minds? I want to know what it's like to to kill somebody. Mm-hmm. See? Wasn't so hard. So, got some classics from the last Corp War, or armed robbery if you're looking for something fresher. Hmm. What are you looking for? What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know, don't need to ask. Yeah, no, that's fair. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cops are like kids. Mommy and Daddy wouldn't let them go off in their lonesome. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Where do you get these scrolls? Said you weren't a pig. Just curious, that's all. Once you booted up your virtue, dare say your curiosity will be satisfied. I don't know People about that. that. Make these. <laughs> Obsessed with privacy. Makes Never sense. even occurred to me to ask where they're from. To which caution I probably owe the fact that I'm still alive, talking to you. No, that's fair. I'm no connoisseur, trust me. <laughs> sure. All I need to know is who makes them and where. Now listen, I just sell whatever sells. Nice, calm job. Let me see some eddies. You can pick one, parse it, and I won't care a hair. All right, that's fair. Got anything that might interest me? <laughs> the fact that he had to say it like that is hilarious. All right. Well, I'm going to take this opportunity to sell off crap I don't need, so be right back. Alrighty. Now that I'm done with that, I notice, wow, he has a lot of components and such, and I kind of need all of those, so time to buy. There we go. There we go. Uh, crafting specs. I'm surprised he has that. Um, bonus material incompatible with your software. Yeah, right. 
Okay, um, hmm. Don't need those, I don't think. And, yeah. I think that's good enough. All right. So, we just need to buy the big thing here. The Deep Fried Death's Head Moth. All right. And I think that's Pleasure it. Pleasure doing biz with you. Yeah. All right, I'm going to sneak under here. Because no one else is going to be over here. Relive it. Brain dance quarterly. Huh. Guest editorial. Brain dance editors have long strived to strike a balance between real lived experience and technological exper experiential, rather, purity. The more heavily processed the material, the more abstracted the pathways, the clearer the brain dance recording. These fundamental elements of design have guided editors since the first wave of brain-to-brain -brain experience sharing technology took hold. In their pursuit of balance, however, editors have clearly shown a bias for purity over naturalism over the years, even going so far to use it as a point of pride in their quality of production. But the industry's latest push for greater purity has the purpose of the technology, but in the... the let me try that again. But in the industry's latest push for greater purity, has the purpose of the technology already been forgotten? Will we not find ourselves processing and filtering a brain dance recording to the point that the emotional experience no longer extends beyond what we receive from film, television, and video games? After reliving some of the latest titles on my feeder unit, this once academic question now feels all too inevitable with the industry's current trajectory. For a moment, let's consider why some reports suggest more and more users are searching for unlicensed titles on the black market, so-called black brain dances, extreme brain dances, or XBDs. Are we so sure it's the illicit content they are after? Or maybe the real draw is the residual grit we editors try so hard to remove? Distracting thoughts, irrelevant memories, loose associative threads, emotions stretched beyond the desired spectrum. What if this noise is not super not so superfluous as we believe it to be. What if these peripheral experiences hold the potential to elevate a good brain dance to an exquisite one? We do ourselves a disservice by not exploring these questions before our blind crusade for brain dance purity leads this industry straight into the bin of obsolete flash-in-the-pan technology. That's fair. That's fair. And to be fair, honestly, I'm noticing a similar trajectory in some video games as well. So, I mean, I kind of get where they're coming from. More or less. It's an understandable concern. Considering that the concern is really starting to take hold in many other places as well. Got anything else to say, Johnny? Eh? Eh? Nothing? Okay. Okay. Meet Judy at her van. All right. Off to her van we go, then. Don't need to get into my vehicle because there's no need. Hop in. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, V. Hello. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. All ready. Sounds good to me. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something, I guess. No, okay. Okay. Good. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Yeah, on top of the fact that it seems like he's trying to cover his face with his visor, and it looks like it's working. Alright, so... Let's see, is there anything... Oh, something over there. Ordered recently. Hmm. 
aromas of anchovies, modified olives, and tuna proteins. Pizza from Bucca Slice. All right. Fair enough. Go to bat to playback mode. And play. Okay. Ow. What is this over here? I liked your corp patch and the coveralls. Hmm. Electric Corporation, a thick heat resistant material. Power plant worker uniform. Okay. Might give us something at least. Okay. Scav woman. Who knew that sides chopping people up they were scrolling XBDs? Can be that rich synth got aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm hmm Bucket slice. Bucket slice is presumably Boy, nearby. Box. Decker, Tanaka, Rogers logo. Coffee was cold. What? Okay. We're looking for an electric core power plant located near a so? bucket slice. It means someone's grabbing BC bucket slice regularly. Big okay. Pizza shares its DNA with sure. styrofoam. Nobody's gonna slap across town for it. Okay, well. Good thing that all of that all of that had subtitles because that was a bug that as far as I'm aware should have been fixed um there's supposed to be some audio syncing fixes done and they just kinda ran all at once for multiple conversations presumably that just kind of ran all at once very weird but let's just let's just ride out this whole thing since I'm pretty sure we found out what we need to find out the whoa core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. Other than the, uh, ouchie. Whatever ouchie just fucked this guy up. Ugh. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. At first glance, Militech's portfolio looks gold-plated. Half a million employees worldwide, profits in the hundreds of billions, capitalism... Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the Death's Head Moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. There'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. Guess that's true, but still. Fuck. And who replaced Chris in the Oval Office? Rosalind Myers. Surprise, surprise, Militech's former CEO. Responsible for over 60% of contracts. The NUSA is far and away their largest customer. Though, in truth, these sales amount to no more than hidden government subsidies. This should raise a huge red flag for any investor with half a brain. Militech is suffering at the giant teeth that is the capital. But should Washington ever run dry, kablamo! 
Want my recommendation? Sell, sell, and sell some more. Mm -hmm. And if you're unsure where to shove all that cash on short notice, you can't go wrong with the Arasaka money machine. The Arasaka money machine, uh huh. Okay, well, I wanted to listen to that, hear what might have to be said. Well, that was a maneuver, Judy. Right in front of a car that was clearly going straight, but alright. Huh. Alright, um, I'm gonna be honest. I've been kinda a little not awake most of this but um i'm i'm having trouble keeping up with where we're uh, where we're doing things right now well i think we're already here i don't judy okay that was weird and here we are you no. Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. All right. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. Fair enough. It's not gonna be pretty in there. So, if you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. Fair enough. All right. Going in. Okay. Well. Here on out, we're heading into Moth's Head territory, which means it's going to get violent real quick. Probably better off having this out. Actually, you know what? Probably better off having this out altogether. That said, um... Oh. That was better. Okay, um... See if I can scan for... Yes, I can. Alright. So, I'm going to try to mark... Bodies as I see them. Don't see a lot else of what the... Huh. Justice Tarot card. Interesting. Alright. Well, I'll see if I can try and head up there, I guess. Which, I mean, shouldn't be too hard. Huh. This does give me an excellent vantage point. So I guess I'll start trying from here there we go now the holographic sight on this is working don't know why it wasn't before but get everything inside almost what do you mean almost grab a crate and get your ass moving it's my break chill all right enough slacking around get that shit off the street if you're in such a hurry you do it Looks like no one's taught you your place yet. I've been shopping Chrome for five years, and I'm telling you, we don't do breaks. Well, I've been here four days, doing nothing but moving crates, and I fucking quit. Okay. Well, let's turn that off, since that'll be useful. Okay. And she quits and walks right off. Interesting. And she's, she's just going away. Just leaving. Well, I guess I'll take the marker off of her then. But that didn't mean to put a marker on this. Okay. Take the tag off of her. Uh, the gate. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the damn marker off the gate, but it won't let me. There we go. Just 
took five years for it to finally let me do anything, but let me do it. Okay, and we got another live body over there. Okay. Well, I think that gives me a good enough layout of how things are going to go down from here. Got to deal with them first, and then we deal with the rest of them. Uh-oh. I'm going to stay out of sight, that's for sure. Okay. Well. I think that tells me plenty. All right. But for right now, I got to end the episode. Um, and kind of process some things. Um, so... We went over to Fingers, found out that Judy, how he managed to get his hands on her still doesn't make a lot of sense because we were told one thing by Woodman, Fingers told us a different thing, but Guy's a scumbag, so I'm not sure I should believe him anyway. All I know is that apparently he got bored of her, I guess, uh, after he couldn't fix her implant and uh, sold her off to the death's head. So that's already not good. From here on out, we're just basically trying to make sure that we can get her out alive. So we go from there. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and doing what I can to try and get Evelyn out of a very dangerous situation that seems to get more and more dangerous as time passes. So here's hoping we actually can manage to do that. And be able to find her still alive at the end of it but uh that's more for judy's sake than for mine but at the same time it'd be nice if we can find her because then we can figure out who uh who was really paying for her half of the whole heist because clearly she was also getting played as much as i was for you